SQL injection tutorial. In this video, we will see how to create injection attacks. So I have a table name person. Let's see what are the contents of this table. So I have this much data in my table. For the demo purpose, I have taken Java as an example. You can apply the same logic over any of your favorite uh, topics like uh, PHP, C hash or anything you are comfortable with. The concept will not change. So let us assume uh, you are working with uh, business logic and in a web form you have a field name with name where you prompt for your give your first name. So let us like uh, you got the first name as input. Okay. Then what you will do, you will execute query to find the existence of your first name in table name person. Then you will execute query and iterate over the result and you will do your business logic here and done. Okay. So let us run this program. Okay. So this query has been executed and I got the result Anish okay so in this person table first name with Anish exist now I will perform a SQL injection attack so this is the input from your web page Let's perform the attack. So someone has given input of instead of Anish, he has given the following. Okay. A well form SQL query. The function will execute, it will execute the following. Okay. So this the following statement will execute. Okay. So he has given an update statement also. I can see YouTube one is there here. Imagine if someone has given the statement. Okay. So following query will be executed. And you can see there is nothing. You have deleted the entire record from the table. Okay. And what you are, what uh, you are actually perform a SQL injection attack. So this is a poor coding practice. So before writing any select statement, and if you have any where clause, where clause, just think of SQL injection attacks. What instead of delete statement, someone can get drop table. person okay so your person will not exist your person table is not no more exist in your database and they can virtually hijack your entire system based on your select star from condition only performing a SQL injection attacks 
so be careful while while performing where condition don't execute your query directly okay so there are ways to prevent sql injection attacks okay so SQL injection prevention can be done by the means of in PHP you can apply PDOs okay using PDOs like uh, we have to bind your statement like this okay or using MySQL I interfaces you can bind the parameter in other language like Java you can bind the statement set string let's let's say you are executing the statement select star for employee where last name is this and first name is this okay and you want to prevent a SQL injection attack you can just bind your statement using set string for hibernate and all you can use uh, set parameters okay so the root cause is do not do not directly execute the query just bind the parameters and make a safe operation thanks thanks for watching the video do have any question do let me know i will i will try to answer over the comment